In this video, we are going to continue working on my bathroom remodel. And we're going to do it right now. Okay, here's the plan. This floor has been driving me nuts. It's all squeaky. Um, I showed you guys before. There's a huge hump right here. I want to tear this up and figure out what's, uh, what's going on with this floor and make a decision on what I need to do to fix it. So that's what we're going to start with. We're going to tear up this layer here. It's just a um, quarter inch Luan plywood and some rolled vinyl floor. So let's, uh, let's get to it. I'm going to use a Sawzall and just, just very carefully, just with the tip of the Sawzall blade, cut through just this quarter inch in vinyl. If I cut through a little bit on the on the uh, piece underneath, not a huge deal. So here we go. Alright, so I got the floor ripped up, and this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to put some uh, pieces in here to make this even, right? So I ripped this piece down. We'll just use this as an example. And what I would do is do quarter inch, quarter inch packer board and then do the tile on top of that. And then that would make this nice and level. But when I do this and then I do this, that is just too much of a step up. That's just a little ridiculous. That's probably an inch and a half. And it might be a little bit more considering I'm using thin set for both the backer board and the tile. Um, I am eventually doing flooring over this. I'm not gonna rip this up. Um, like I said, eventually I'm gonna do that, but even at that, if I did flooring, it'd probably be similar to this size and there'd still be a pretty big step up. So, unfortunately, what I'm gonna have to do is rip up this floor. Um, this is three quarter inch on top of three quarter inch. Uh, so there's, you know, the main floor underneath it. So I'm gonna have to rip this stuff up and, and see what's going on. I know that right here, you can tell because that's where the beam is that is the old house and what's happening is this is just sinking and i went in the basement and looked and there's no real uh jacking it up over there and making it level it's just because it's level on the other side of the house and then on this side if i jacked it up that other side of the house would be way out of level so basically what i'm gonna have to do is tear this three quarters up and then do something like that um, on top of that floor. And then I'll be closer to where I need to be. So that's what I'm going to do.
as the layers are peeled back, I can really understand what's going on here. So this is the old house, like I said, and it is dipping like old houses do. It's dipping towards the middle of the house. <clears throat> this new addition is perfectly level. Well, for the most part, it's pretty level. And what they did was they took 5 eighths plywood and they ran it up over the old floor to meet three quarter inch. And it looks like at some point they actually shaved the three quarters to match up to the five eighths. So they still had the dip here, but they tried to make it even, which I commend them. It's not a bad idea, um, but this floor just dips way too much down there. So what I'm thinking that I can do I cut all around the tub here and I think quarter inch backer board plus the tile will actually cover this tub. I can do something about that if it doesn't, but I run quarter inch backer this whole way. And now if you look, so this is way out, but if I put this on top of the three quarter original floor, it's perfectly level. Same thing over here. Perfectly level. So that is where my backer will run. I'll cut pieces to basically under this level, how you can see it gets skinny here and bigger down there. I'll cut pieces, probably 12 inches, and then I'll fill that with thin set, which is what I'm going to use to uh, put the, the backer down and screw it. And I'll screw it right into the pieces that I put down. And then I'll put the tile on top of that. And that's going to be way more tolerable because it'll probably end up being about there, which is not bad because like I said, I am adding flooring out there at some point so yeah i'm glad i took this off i didn't want to but um really that's the only way to do this without having an inch and a half step up into the bathroom which is unacceptable for me um but so when we go to do the toilet that's probably the first place i'm going to do this i'll have the plumber come in he'll take that out right away and then I'll take out the sheetrock that's behind the toilet, or drywall. I keep saying sheetrock and drywall. It's basically the same thing. I think drywall is the proper term. But then I'll take all this floor out, do my pieces, fill it in with thin set, put the backer down, and screw it in. And then I can walk on it. I can do whatever while it dries. But then I think he can use tile pieces to kind of put his flange where it needs to be, and then we can shim the toilet temporarily until I do the tile here. So, yeah. A lot of work, but gonna totally be worth it. Now, before we wrap up this video, most of the squeak is gone, but... Let's get rid of that squeak. Put some screws. Right into the floor joists. And before I put the backer down, I'm going to do that to every single one of these boards. So that's where we're going to wrap this video up. If you want to see more on this bathroom remodel, you can click hereish and hereish and go check out those videos. And if this is your first time, definitely consider subscribing if you enjoyed the content. So go ahead and I'll meet you over there or there-ish. Thanks for watching. We'll see you over there.